What's going on guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. Those of you that are out delivering the mail, have a safe day, have a good day. I'm currently sitting outside of my post office getting ready to go in. I have about seven minutes before I walk in. But one of the, one of the things I want to talk to you guys about today is scheduling how much you're going to work with the post office. I've been getting a lot of questions on videos. How many hours do you get a week? Do you work a lot? Okay, so I am a RCA, a rural carrier assistant. And so basically what that means is I work whenever the regular carrier needs off or a holiday. Most of the time he takes off holidays. So I'll work holidays and things like that. So in the industry, they say it's like feast or famine. So basically what that means is you might work six days a week or you might work one day a week or you might not work at all a week i mean there are carriers out there that work every other saturday so you know they'll work a saturday they won't do nothing for a whole week and then the next saturday they'll work during christmas time it was pretty much six days a week and so that's things that you know that's something that you guys are going to, have to be ready for coming into the industry working Saturdays. I work every Saturday, guaranteed. That is my guaranteed day that I work. So I might get off Monday through Friday, but Saturday I'm going to work. So you guys will definitely have to be ready to work Saturdays because normally that's the day that the normal carriers get off. Now it's different from every office. Some carrier might get off Monday, some might get off Thursday, some might get off Saturday, but my carrier, it's Saturday. So I'm guaranteed to work every Saturday. I was pretty much used to this because I worked uh, in the retail industry before this with Verizon selling cell phones and the way the retail industry work, those of you that are familiar, you're gonna be working you know, Saturday, Sunday, it didn't really matter. So it wasn't a big deal to me, but during Christmas time, I worked six days a week. Uh, now that Christmas is over and it's the new year, it's really, you know, it's really dropped off. I, I, I'm guaranteed right now every Friday and Saturday that I work. Monday through Thursday, it's questionable. I have no idea from week to week. So this week I, I worked, uh, I didn't work at all. I, I just worked Friday and Saturday. Next week I might, might get in a Monday or Tuesday or something like that. But where I have like a second business going on, it's not a huge deal for me. I just work whenever they need me. Uh, but that's one thing. That's another thing is that your life pretty much is going to revolve around their schedule in the beginning. Uh, it's whenever they schedule you, no matter what, you got to be there. So, you know, that's something that to take into consideration. It's a great job. The money's good, but you're really putting yourself out there for the, for the postal service. That might be for you. It might not be for you, but Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video on scheduling hours, what you're, what you're coming into as you become an RCA. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more guys, and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions or anything, just drop them below, and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. But anyways, have a great day. Enjoy. Be safe out there. And yeah, just have a good day, guys.